From walking on water to healing the sick, from lifting the fallen and helping the weak, Jesus held many titles, but today we will learn that friend is the sweetest title he's ever earned. Hey, good afternoon, sisters. Hey, LRZ, you just walk out of a hole now because it's weeks now, people looking for you. Girl, I had to go to Jerusalem. I had to go and see this Jesus that so many persons are talking about for myself. So that's how you plan to tell us? <clears throat> well, I, 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 Martha, I saw Jesus heal a man who was sick for 38 years. I also see him heal a woman who had a, a, an issue of blood for, for, for 12 years and all she did was touch the hem of his garment. He is truly the Messiah. <laughs> Leslie, you really want me to believe that this Jesus, the so-called Messiah, is so powerful that he could heal people when they just touch the heart? Mary, I saw Jesus multiply bread and fish so much so that he fed over 5,000 people. This Jesus is no joke. He is truly the Messiah. Mary is truly the promised one. This sounds like a fairy tale, and to be honest, I've stopped believing in fairy tales a long time ago. Ah, Mary, this is no fairy tale at all. The way he preached, the way he ministers, the way he heals the sick, he is the Messiah. He has come to save us all. Bye. Lazzie, this Jesus practice sounds like somebody I should lose. The next time we go to Jerusalem, you must bring him back with you. <laughs> Anyways, while you all are out here wasting time, fantasizing about this thing, I have money to make, right? I have an, an appointment to get to. Besides, this promised one is not interested in saving someone like me. Oh no, that's not true at all. You see, he's not only a miracle worker, but he's also my friend. He is kind, he is humble, yet he's so mighty and powerful. I can't wait for you to meet him for yourself. Over again, but I know a man who can. I can't take a soul that's in sick, make it whiter than snow, but I know a man. Oh, man. I call 
of you And your life is out of hand Well, I know a man who can I know a man who There was no doubt she did it, caught in the very act. Some called her a harlot, others thought she had no heart. But when brought before Jesus, her sentence to deliver, the matchless grace she encountered made Mary a believer. Jesus, breaking news. We just caught this woman committing adultery. Yes, Lord. We caught her in the very act. I see. So who is the man she was caught in? Why is this important, Jesus? Surely you want a sentence for, for this heinous act that she has committed. This woman should be stoned. I will sentence her. But first, there's something I must do. Like the hypocrites they are. Are you the one they call Jesus? I am he. I've heard so much about you. My brother says that he's your friend. He said that you've never sinned, yet you came to save a woman like me from being stoned to death? How could that be? Mary, I know all that you have done, but I have not come here for the righteous. I have come to call sinners to repentance. I have come to offer you new life. I don't deserve this mercy. I feel so light, like seven demons just lifted out of me. My grace is extended to all who believe in me. Mary, go and sin me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you. You've really delivered me. You are really the lover of my soul. Of my soul. 
Jesus' journey took him to the town of Bethany, where he visits the home of Martha and Mary, though both excited to be in the presence of their Savior, each sister had a vastly different behavior. He's here already, but the house is still a mess. And you must think we're heathens. You know, Mother always used to say cleanliness is next to godliness. Jesus, welcome. We're so glad you can come. Welcome to Bethany. Jesus, it's such a, such a pleasure to meet you. Come, come. Sit, sit. Lazarus has been talking nonstop about you. I prepared fish and bread. I heard that's your favorite. Pleasure yeah. is mine, Martha. It smells lovely. Oh, that must be the bread. Let me go take it out the oven. Jesus, I'm so glad that you came. I know that you've been busy with the teaching of parables, the Sermon on the Mount. I even heard that you walk on water. You must tell me all about it. Well, what had happened was... Mary, how can you just be sitting there? There's so much things to do and you're just sitting there at Jesus' feet. Why don't you help me in the kitchen or something and stop being so lazy? Martha, I am not lazy. If only you understood what this man has done for me, how he had delivered me, then you would know why I don't want to sit here and spend every precious moment with him. Oh, so you've met. Then surely, Mary, you should understand how important Jesus is. He's the Messiah after all. And Jesus, you're condoning this behavior. He's the master of the wind and seas. Surely you could command the little old lazy Mary to come and help me in the kitchen. Martha, I appreciate your hospitality. And your efforts making me feel at home didn't go unnoticed. I know that you're upset with many things, but there's something that is truly important. While you chosen to work, Mary has chosen to worship. Yes, Martha, you clearly don't understand. Jesus is not only the Messiah, he is real. He is my healer, my deliverer, and my friend. All I want to do is worship in his presence. Will I sing? 
Their brother Lazarus is dying. The call for Jesus has gone out. And when their beloved friend seemed to fail them, Martha's overcome with grief and doubt. Four days later, Jesus joins them. Lazarus is already in the grave, but he shows the weeping sisters that from sin and death he came to save. <laughs> Yes, Martha, I did. But I'm sure Jesus must be doing something. He has some reasons for not being here. Because Lazarus was his friend. But Lazarus has been there for four days now. What kind of message is she's spelling this? He's here. Jesus is finally here. My Lord, you have finally come. But I'm afraid it's too late. Lazarus has been there for four days now. I've heard of you healing the lame and causing the blind to see. How come it took so long to come and save my brother? It's your fault he's dead. Martha, show me where Lazarus is. What's the point, my lord? He has, I'm sure he's nothing in his grave by now. Mary, I have come for your grace to be in peace. Show me where he has been buried. Okay, Jesus. Follow me. Roll back the gravestone. Lazarus, arise! Jesus, what are you doing? He's alive! Lazarus is alive! Jesus, why did I ever doubt you? You are truly the resurrection and the life. Thank you. The news came to Jesus. Please come fast. Lazarus is sick, and without your help, he will not last. Mary and Martha watch their brother die. They waited for Jesus, he did not come, and they wondered why. The death watch was over, buried for days. Somebody said, He'll soon be here, the Lord's on his way. Martha ran to him, and then she cried. Lord, if you had been here, you could have healed him. He'd still be alive for your four days late. His way is God's way, not yours or mine. And isn't it great when He's four days late, He's still on time? Jesus said, Martha, show me the grave. But she said, Lord, you don't understand, he's been here for days. The gray soul was rose back, then Jesus cried. Lazarus come forth, then somebody said, he's alive, he's alive. A battle of fear You've cried to the Lord 
I need you now, but he has not appeared. Friend, don't be discouraged, cause he's still the same. He'll soon be here, he'll roll back the stone, and he'll call out your name. yours or mine and isn't it great when he's four days late he's still on time oh my god it's great when he's four days late he's still on At the home of her uncle Simon, where Jesus and his disciples gathered to eat, Mary appears with a box of costly ointment to wash Jesus' feet. She had seen his hand of mercy. She had felt his heart of love. And in that moment, all that she owned was poured out to God above. My Lord, please allow me to wash your feet. Mary, I must confess, I have a few corns on my feet, but you may go ahead. What in heaven's name is going on here? Is expensive oil can be used to buy food for the poor and hungry. You should be ashamed of yourself. Judas, the poor will always be with you, but I will not always be with you. Let Mary serve her Lord as she sees fit. She will be remembered for a kind of service. Lord, I thank you so much. You have done so much for me, and I don't deserve it. I don't even deserve to wash your feet. You not only delivered me from my worldly living, but you also resurrected my brother from the dead. And for that, I am eternally grateful. All I want to do is give you all that I have. The room grew still as she made her way to Jesus. She stumbled through the tears that made her blind. She felt such pain. Some spoke in anger, heard folks whisper. There's no place here for her kind Still on she came Through the shame that flushed her face Till at last she knelt before his feet And though she spoke no with my tears and I dry them with my hair You weren't there The night he found me You did not feel what I felt when he wrapped his Don't know the cause. 
oil in my alabaster box. Well, I can't forget the way life used to be. I was a prisoner to the sins that had me bound And I spent my days pouring my life without measure Into a little treasure box I thought But a few days had passed since Mary washed Jesus' feet when he was betrayed and arrested, mocked and beaten in the street. On Calvary's cross, they crucified him. Mary watched her Savior die. But three days later, his tomb was empty and Mary couldn't help but cry. Mary, why are you here? My Lord, he's not in his grave, and they haven't told me where they have taken him. I can't believe all the things that have happened in the past week. It was just a few days ago I washed his feet with oil and wiped it with my hair. And his very own disciples, they, they, they betrayed him, and then they gave him a sham trial. They placed him on a cross, nailed him to the cross. And I helplessly watched him as they crucified my Lord. They placed a crown of thorns on his head. They pierced his side. He didn't deserve to die that way. But he died for us. He died for our sins. There's a man over there. Perhaps he knows where they would have laid the Lord. Thank you. I'll go and ask. Excuse me, sir. Woman, why are you crying? And who are you looking for? I'm looking for the one they call Jesus. If you know where he is, please tell me and I'll go for him. Mary, it is I. Teacher, is it really you? Please don't touch me, but I have not ascended to my father. But go and tell my brothers I will be ascending to my father 
and to your fault, and to my God, and to your fault. I have seen the Lord. He is not dead. He is surely alive. What amazing grace. Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a friend. I will forever lift my eyes to Calvary. What Jesus did for Mary and Martha, he can also do for you and I. He can forgive your sinful history. He can wipe the tears you cry. All he desires is to save you. And this gift is full and free. For he's the friend who loves and cheers you and gives you life eternally.